Okay, so we're going to start the video. Um, just a couple of things I want you to look at. If you look at your hands the whole way through the video, even when I'm talking about other things, you can see a gap between your hands sometimes, and you can see clear water. What I should see is literally almost one hand. The, the right hand is tucked up so close underneath the left hand that they look like one. I shouldn't be able to see the water between them. You'll also notice at the catch, you just lift your hands a bit too high and bury about a third of the shaft. Smaller lift of the hands, we only want to cover the spoon. So we'll get the video started. So keep an eye on those hands. Now what I want to talk to you about here is just notice how at the finish, you finish the stroke there and then you pause. So what we don't want to do is I want you to picture that the stroke finishes at hands away, that the hands come into the body and away from the body at the same speed, and that if you're going to stop your stroke, you stop it at hands away, not at your body. So let's start it again and just watch how you literally pause at the end of every stroke. There, pause. Pause. No, don't pause there. Spin the hands around the back, the hands move around the back like a bicycle chain. They just keep going, keep going. And you can see the difference in the hand heights uh, there. Shins are good, you're getting nice compression, but just that we've got to work on the hand speed around the back, the hand heights at the finish, and the hands as you push away on the leg drive, that they're much closer together that you really focus on where your hands are in relationship to each other. The minute you do that, you'll be able to step up to the next level because you'll have a much more level platform. And because you've got a more level platform, you'll have much more confidence to square earlier, place earlier and get a longer stroke. So how do we do that? We get the position of the hands at the finish right, tap out cleanly, and there's no movement of the hands up and down. You push away from the body with the right hand tucking in underneath the left.